In this one, I want to show you how to add and use Twitter polls. So get Twitter open, and then you have to go and send a tweet as normal. So that's the option in the bottom right hand corner. Press that. And then instead of sending a tweet, you have to click on this icon down in the bar at the bottom, and that will start a Twitter poll. You will have to ask a question, whatever that may be. So if I just put something in here, and then you have to give people some choices. You have to have at least two choices and you can have up to four choices. So if I put yes, no here, to add another choice, just simply press the plus button to the right hand side and that will add another one down. I can add another option here and even another option, up to four options. If you don't want four, you can just leave that blank and it will not come up as an option when you actually post the poll. The poll length is one day as standard. It's really easy to change that. You just have to press the icon to the right hand side and then you can change it to anything you want. The maximum poll length is seven days. So if I scroll all the way down to seven days, that is the maximum one day or even naught days and seven hours or even one hour. You can do that to whatever time scale you want. Five minutes is the minimum. Once you've chosen that, you can just press that icon to minimize that options menu. Also, you can change who can reply to the Twitter poll, this option here. So if you click on that, you can choose that everyone can reply to the Twitter poll, only people that you follow or only people that you mention. Choose whichever one you want. I'm just gonna keep that on everyone. That is the basics of choosing these settings within the poll. Now, if you want to actually tweet this, then just go ahead and tweet it as normal and I'll show you what comes up. So right now, as you can see, if you posted the poll, you can see all of the results when people are voting yourself. Other people can't see this right now. You can see all of it though, and you can also see how long left the poll actually has to run. If I switch into another Twitter account, and I can search and show you what it looks like if you are actually looking at that poll as somebody else, not the actual poster. There you can see, I can see the poll. I can also see how many votes have already taken place, how long it has left, and I can also vote. So I'm gonna vote no, and then you can see all of the results. So there's been one vote, which is me, I've said no. And then you can see all the different percentages for each of the options. If it was helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.